Hassan Mead, Blankenship, Harun Abda. Chris Rambo, Matt Barrett, all of your Rambo, buddies. Ben Camp, my husband. <laughs> I'm at U University of Minnesota. Got a lot of campus heading to the track today with Ben. Are you on? Yep. Okay. So we're about 10 days out from the Board of Regents at the University of Minnesota voting for the fate of men's track and field, gymnastics, and tennis. And we are coming out to the track they just built like a year ago and along with this entire campus that they built up with all this money that they had not too long ago and it's the point of view of quite a few of us that there was unnecessary spending that was done for all these extra things that could have been better saved and used to promote opportunities for athletes which we really care about. This program just recently combined with men's and women's is so cool. They feel like a family now. And to just tear like half of the team out of there is gonna be so sad and really like negatively impact the women's team too. I just think back to like the man holding this camera behind me and me here. Ben Camp, my husband, was on the team with me and how cool it was to have that camaraderie between the two sports. And we just need to see both teams fighting for a Big Ten championship on this track in a couple of years. Title note, very sad. Um, they claim that it's all about Title IX and budget, and yes, I totally understand and I'm sensitive to the, like, to the issue that this pandemic has like impacted a lot of people, but I just don't think it's fair and it's really making me mad that they're using women's sports as like a shield and a reason for them to take away opportunities from men. This just puts us in a really bad light. But all of us want to see them having those same chances. And I just, there's no universe where this decision makes sense to me. Yep. So Ben, what about you? As like a walk on in the men's program at the University of Minnesota. You had a great experience at the U. Yeah. Really loved being a gopher. Like, what do you think about this? Yeah, I think it's incredibly disappointing and sad for uh, the entire program, the alumni, future kids who might compete here. And, you know, it's not all about winning a Big Ten title or competing at regionals or nationals. I never competed at either of those. And the Big Ten meet was my championship. That was like the highest it got for me. And I had, I would say, four or five of the best years of my running career were here. Four or five years of competing, you know, indoor, outdoor track with those guys, I think gave me so much. Yeah. Uh, as an and a person. Sure. Yeah. And I think if you asked any athlete on any program in the athletic department, we'd all be willing to trim the fat and sacrifice a little to maintain indoor and outdoor track and field, tennis and gymnastics. Yeah. This is our program that gives opportunities to so many people that might not have it otherwise. Right, and like Minnesota is like the premier like university in the state. Like it's a division one school that all the high school kids like dream of coming to. And it's a huge deal to think about not having one of those, like a big state school with every academic opportunity imaginable at your fingertips without a track program. And I think it'll just be a very slippery slope and super scary for the future of track and field everywhere and our representation in the I US. Think, I think too, if you look at Team USA Minnesota, Minnesota Distance Elite. Yeah. How many go for track and field alum oh. on both the women's team and the men's team have come from go for sports, uh, for, from go for track and field. It's so many that it's not just go for track and field that's going to be eliminated here. It potentially is going to impact all the way up. All the way up to the yeah. to our professional group 
and beyond. Totally. 